And when he made the seum on Erev Pesach, he had, he used to use Rebbets and Rebbets and Basheva, Olea Sholev, used to put a few bottles of wine, and that wine was the famous miracle wine which they used for all the Chaloyim. People used to fly it all over the world for Reb Chaim Seum from Kol but I have news for you. This was Bishanim Regilis. Reb Chaim used to learn eight blot a day. I once made this in the Cheshbon. You don't have to learn so much. You can learn 7.16 in order to finish 2,711 blot in a year. He used to learn eight blot a day in Babli. In Shonom Uberes, with a 13 month, Reb Chaim used to make the Siyu Mashas on Purim. And the month from Purim till Erev Pesach, from Yudalet till Yudalet, he used to write a Sefer. All of Reb Chaim's for him were written in all those Shoni Mubores, seven out of 19 years, that he used to write a Sefer during those 30 days. You would be surprised to hear this past Purim, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, there was a Siyu Mashas in Reb Chaim's house. With the wine, with Alzdi. And at Shushan Purim in the morning, he wasn't feeling well. But he took a notebook and he started writing the Sefer for this year. I assume the Sefer will be continued in Yeshiva Shemailo, where he'll finish it there. But this was Reb Chaim. You know, I took with me, somebody asked me to print. I'll give it to you later. Somebody wants to make a copy. This is a letter written 78 years ago. The writer of the letter is Nish Ben Nish Weiniger. My Zayde, Reb Ruven Katz, the Degel Ruven, the Rosh Hashim in Pesach Tikve, where Reb Chaim was a student. Reb Chaim was a Talmud of Pesach Tikve Yeshiv. They didn't have any money, so they were writing the joint to please give him money, and it had to be a letter which the joint wrote him was a correspondence back and forth. The joint said, listen, Stam Yeshiv Boch was kvetching a bank, there is no merit in giving them any subsidy. You're telling me that you're putting up some money, somebody who will be, has a future in learning, then we'll consider it as a vocational support for somebody who is becoming a big doctor, a big lawyer, a big accountant, a big rabbi. So Mazeda on the station of the yeshiva, I don't have the first half of the letter here, which is not the yet. But he writes them all the Hitzoyas and how many students they have. And he has 13 students, which each one of them, Ich bin sicher, as the Rosh Hashiva Remot Cheshlite, knows each and every one of them, they all turned out to be Gdoli Yisrael in Yeshiva's Pesach Tikve Lomje. But then he adds on a line, and let me read. Noisaf l'Rishima Soamumodim Anoichachis Apart from the elder Bachim, which were already ready potential candidates to become an Higim, we're taking an exclusion of three boys, which are the age of 16 to 18, some, you know the little kid, 16-year-old kid, how can I ask for a subsidy for somebody who's going to become a leader in Klal Yisrael, become a money? Get money from the joint. He's not the guy. 
So the dry bochim, this is just from a mordche, is Naftali Tefliker, Yitzchok Zimitrovsky, and Chaim Kanievsky was only 16. But he writes about Chaim Kanievsky, he's a bochim, Ben Sheshesre, Shak Don Niflo, Balt Fisa Meiro, Boki Lefochois, Beshloishos Dorin Gemoro, Yedio Yesoides Va Makifo, Bagshani Vachri. So this Gdaili Israel, who were asking for a special subsidy, and here's the letter is for you, is asking Reb Chaim was Boki Niflo, Shloishos Dorin. By the way, he made the first year, Ashash, he told me, at the age of 17. At the age of 16, he made a sim on Yevomus in Bnei Brak. He came to Pesach Tikva. He's 17 years old. He made a sim on Ashash Be'iyum when he was 17. Oh, but the Zayda Shreib, though, I can't say more than he writes, that he's Boki Niflo in Shloisha Sdorim. Therefore, he's Ossi to become one of G'day Lisa. I spoke last night in Lakewood. And I said as follows. I just want to bring one Nekudah from what I said. When the Chazayin Ish was Nifter, Chazayin Ish Kayadua was the uncle of Reb Chaim. Chazayin Ish was Nifter, the Levi was Tesvav Teves Tovshin Yudalit, 78 years ago. I'm sorry, 68 years ago. Chazayin Ish was Nifter 68 years ago, and the Talmudim for the Chazanish, everybody in Eretz Yisrael was Subrochen and Tzushos. They say, what's going to be with Kral Yisrael now? The Chazanish is not around. Churban Beis Hamikdash. They refuse to believe that there is a continuation to Kral Yisrael past the Chazanish era. Nimnu Vagomru, they took five Talmudim for the Chazanish and they sent them off with a taxi to Yerushalayim to the Brisker Road. The five people who went on the taxi, I heard the story from one of them, was Reb Gedal Yanadl, Reb Yidl Breuer, Reb Chaim Shol Karelitz, Reb Chaim Greneman, and Reb Chaim Kanyevs. Those five people got together in the taxi, and they came to the Brisker Road. I got a reconfirmation to the story from Reb Mishulam David Alevi Solovich. I didn't get it from elsewhere. They came in to the Briskarov and they said, Vos at Zayn. So the Briskarov said, answered, Mizalosh. Ven Klal Israel, Hobich Mishkin Meir. What's the future of Klal Israel? I don't have one iota of Meir. I don't. Ven Gdail Israel, there will always be. Shtein Chazal, Vizor Hashemesh, Ubo Hashemesh. Actually, So I don't have a problem. He says the only thing is the Messiah from Torah, the way Torah is transformed from generation to generation, is via a mechanism called Talmud and Rav. Rav and Talmud, Rav and Talmud, Rav and Talmud. And the Shaila is, G'daylem Sido, Ve'ed Zayn, the Talmud was at the Ibn Lemon. Who is this potential candidate for the Talmudim? That he is going to be Mamshich the Chazanish. So the Biskarov said like this Ich weiß nicht Kinsach. I don't know too much. Ober Rebavom Yishai Ot Mirgizok. Rebavom Yishai is the Chazanish. Ot Mirgizok told me, as mein Chaimke is more the cooler Talmud. I just want to say, Abraham Kanievsky was 26 years, he 26 years old, minus three months when the Chazanish was back. I'm just giving you the. Basically, I think if you would be in this Besmedesh, you would be probably the youngest guy here. 26 years of age, Abraham Kanievsky. Scrub said that he had two things from the Babam Yishai. Erstens, mein Chaimke is more of the Kula Talmud. He is the master of the entire Torah, of the entire Talmud. And B, Halacha Kemoisa in the whole Mok. Ve'idach Zil Gemoy. He says, I don't need, he says, session is over, question is over. G'day Lim Sidor, Teres et Vaitelzheim. 
the Argadoilin and Torah will continue to flourish, no question. At Saif Kaladeus. This mysterious Atoyah, the Hazanishos from Moisri Atoyah, who is the next Mav Sheikh? The Yunga Manchik of Azit's daughter from Bank. He's sitting right here. You don't have to go. Lama Shamaimi, Vulay Mevalaya. Chaimke, Mine Chaimke. Mama the Kula Talmude, and Aloha Kemaisai, the Homo. The Nikuda that I would like to bring down is that I am sure, I don't have a song. Probably in the next seven days, six days, there will be a probably over a thousand stadiums set over in Agro Karma. In any corner, in every corner of the world. Take it to the Schleshin, it will probably be 5,000 stadium from Australia to New Zealand. No question. I'm also sure that 95% of the common denominator of all the spadings are going to be Mispah Hamoifsi. Every year, whether he has a private jet or he doesn't, comes back with the Pchayim. The Pchayim told me this and this happened. The Pchayim told me this and this happened. And the Pchayim went down in the, if I'm asking, if I'm going to go ahead and make a survey around New York City, who is the Pchayim? So in Yiddish, Luftach does Baba. Reb Chaim is Baum Oifetz. He said this, and it happened. He said that, and it happened. Sitting here, my Aiden, Reb Yosef Yonah Tzvi Horowitz, his father went to surgery. They called me up. I should call to Reb Chaim's house to ask. I gave him the tettle the night before to Davin. He went to surgery, and his brother who donated a kidney for him went for surgery. So he comes in the Davin, I call up the house. He said, the guy said, the guy who's standing next to Reb Chaim, Satos. I called my son and I asked him, what's your father's name again? He tells me, Shlomo David Ben Shoshana Rezel. He says, Satos. And he talks, Satsvete. Finally, pick up the phone call. He says to me, when the father went down to surgery, his brother got high blood pressure, the one who was donating the kidney, and they took him away from surgery room and they postponed the surgery. So he's sitting in Bnei Brak and reading. And the stories like this, la lofimu la revolis, del bekoy del bekoy. And my hesper today is to say one thing: Reb Chaim was not a balmoyfus. Wrong, misinterpretation. Reb Chaim was not a balmoyfus. The Messias Hatera that the Chazanish was talking about, going from generation to generation, is Reb Chaim was a person, whoever knew, whoever was Zeche, Olov, and Istapeg, and Istoifev, Lachse, Ispetzel, Knofov, Reb Chaim, by him, Torah, wasn't a kli, wasn't a vessel, wasn't a vehicle, wasn't a goal. Reb Chaim, Kol Kule, was Torah. Chazal tell us, Kodesh Baruch Hu, Istakel, Bereis, and Bora Alme. Kodesh Baruch Hu, looked at the Torah, and not, not the word is that Torah is some kind of instruction book. Torah is the blueprint where the oilam is a derivative of that blueprint. When somebody came in, he said that he has operation on the hand, Chaim says, Los Lamen Maseches Yadayim. People thought it was a joke, like, you know. Guy said, every person that came, he gave him a Zasort. By Reb Chaim, everything was tired. He couldn't see anything else but Torah. Nothing was important for him. I don't know if you know, but all those tzepah, chepchayim, double for you, gezayin, kupasayin, kupasashmir, we're going to do, and zivugim, and choylim, and kranke, and almanas, and you're saying, he had no clue what was going on. Everything was sitting around him. They put up a beautiful background. I can make, you make a sheer by Zoom. I can make a background of the United States of America, of the tallest building. Reb Chaim was called Kuloi Tayr. And I'd like to say over a story, since I was limited to a very short time, I would like to wrap it up. And I'm not going to say the Shtikul Tayr that I wanted to say, but I'll say a story. And the story goes as follows. Maybe some people here heard the story for me. But for me, the story was Lahaf Libyaisa. The Bachar in Panavish Yeshiva, this goes back 24 years ago. A bachar in Panavish Yeshiva. Atemane. 
It was in Shidduchim for nine years. So Nishi down there. He came to Reb Chaim. He wanted to ask for a bracha. He went to Reb Chaim. Reb Chaim tells him Bua. Bua means abbreviation, bracha v'atzlocha, because he once made a cheshbun. So for all the 650 people that are allowed to be booked for evening, and that boy can learn another blot and have Gamora instead of saying Baruch of Atzloch. At least to give him the Cheshbon. Bua Shmua, it's not happening. Shtok in So he went to Rav And he said, listen, I'm 90 years in Shidduchim. Probably, I don't know, about 100 Shidduchim I was given. I'm a Taim in it, and I don't know if you know, but by the Sephardim, the bigger fine Shmeckers than by the Ashkenazim. A Taim in it is Mamesh Amin Meyuchud Bifnei Atzmoy. It's a great nisht. So what should I do? Should I be it? I tried all the tricks of the trade. It's not going. Shach told him, you know what? Geit sureb chayim. Un zogem aziche dir gishikt. Go to Reb Chaim Kanievsky. Tell him I sent you. He should make a chavrusa with you every day or three times a week. No. If you're going to go on the street, say, who are you with this bacher? It's Reb Chaim Kanievsky's chavrusa. Certainly, inside trading, the shares will be jacked up and he'll be able to do a shida in no time. Okay, but then where can it happen with Chaim without any? He says, Chaim Dab is seeking every morning a letterman where the Leviah came out of a couple hours ago. Comes up, he says, Shalom. Uh, Rav Shach Shalach Rav Shach sent me. The Bikesh, Yim Arabi Chol, Nasot Chavruse Iti, Kol Yom. Chaim says, "En shum baya." He says, "Anachnu lomdim kol yom." Tabali tfalel po v'sikin. You're gonna come here to dive v'sikin. After v'sikin, I have a twenty-minute seder where I learn four blots. So there are two conditions, preconditions. If you mask him to take it, we got a deal. If you're not mask him, no. That's night number one. You have to prepare the four blots. You have to be well prepared to make a layness and understand the blood because of Chaim. This guy learned shorthand and he put out a kuntras from Reb Chaim, Ma'ar Bechaim, which he could out all the hours of Chaim said, you know, shorthand, he learned how to write. That's number one. Number two, he says, Ich learn 350 togayo. I learned 354 Jewish calendar. Roshashone, Yom Kippur, Tishabov, Pesach, Purim, Hanukkah, Nishtokin, Erev Shabbos, Motzi Shabbos, Aoines, nothing. Every single morning round the whole year. If you're willing to accept this to knowing, Kum Mogun Efri. That came back to part of it. First of all, you don't have to prepare for a blood a day. It's going to take me nine hours at least before Havrusis to prepare. Number two, the guy just put me into jail until I get married. Because, you know what I mean? Yom Kippur in the morning, I gotta come to the city to learn with the Pachan Chavrusa after Shachris. I don't know what I'm called, the This is your lifetime story. Go ahead and do it. Okay. Comes the next morning, he's well prepared. He's learning with the Pachan to learn for a year and a half. They finish Shas one and a, a third time. Comes in the morning, one morning, he says, Shalom Arab, <coughs> Magyali Mazalto. Mazalto. I got engaged last night. And my kala is from some kind of a moshav in the north. So my shver wanted to make the engagement at Noim in the north where the kala lives. But I figured, she has a sister. And tonight there's an engagement at 8 o'clock. But a sister, I made it especially. Will be mean so much to me. The robe will come for two minutes to say Mazel Tov. This is not a joke. We can do learning gangs call a toilet cool with a chavuse without knowing what's his name. 
It wasn't by Abchaim, my Melitzim in Asafa Le Bechutz. Ma Hashem shall have us in thine Amen. I'm going to come here and say, Chosen be Yankov Shleim, and he is there. Zogan Amen. Give me a name. Reb Chaim was Toyre, Bat Toyre, Kola Toyre Kulim. There was no Moifsi. He learned Toyre the way Toyre is supposed to be learned. In a Zayim Sikhtayt in the Gemara, in Shamoya Tishma, Bekom Hashem, and the Kechel, and the Azatel, and the Mitzvahis, and the Shamata, and the Kulchukov, so by Abhaim, if somebody has a cancer in his hand, where are you dying? Just a couple months ago, I had somebody that had a gliable stoma sent it to Abhaim. Abhaim said, People thought it was a joke, Savot, he's Fakalach, doesn't know what he's doing. There was no life in Baruch. The Chaim was strictly bought and only tired. And I want to be the sign. There's a woman in the United Kingdom. Holocaust survivor. She was twice in Auschwitz. She did not know anything. She just saw the whole Mishpacha slaughter next to her. One night she was Miyash. She says, either I'm letting myself go and I'm going to die. Oh, I know one possible. She said, that possible, she know about that. And she said that every single day when she went through every single Nisoyen, she closed her eyes and said, Now she's 85 years old. She's sick and she's going to die. She's writing her tzavo. And she wants to put into the tzavo a, a, a tzettel that when they bury her, they should put the tzettel in her hand when she goes into the cave. Absent me geholt von Ratten von the Nazis. If it helped, it was a cure by the Nazis. Why shouldn't there be a cure when I come to Eilam Ames? Because Boch is going to want to check it with me. I'll pull out the star and I say Shtolcha beYodi my boy. So Prime right away told him bring a Tanakh. He started. He looked in three places. It was psukim very enkla, very similar to Uchol Zeshim Chaleishanor. He says there's no often a posseg with his words. He says often a posseg, put a posseg in cave, and he's a shayla in aloha. Or the asistama, apizmen, or the zog batachna. He can't arrive. Or the zog de froy. Please tell the woman, the eibosh de dafmen is shikin tzedlach. You don't need to send tzedlach to the Kaddish Baruch. Someone was standing there. I heard a story from Rabbi Elman. You know who Rabbi Elman is? He lived by the Chaim Yishtu. And he said, <coughs> She wants it, she needs it. He said, Since there's no Easter with the Reiser, because it's not a Possek in Tanakh, let her have it. Oh, but the Abish said, Dach Nishom So Rabbi Elman asked him, I'd like to ask you. Chatzkel Abramski, before he was Nifter, and I was there by his Levaya, I could be made. He asked to take all 24 volumes of the Chazon Yecheskel and bury it with him in the cavern. And he says, I've been mekum and fregen, ma'loche ha'ashon es t'zogun asher imi shebo l'kam v'talmud ha'biyale. He said that when they came to tell Rav Shach the story with Rav Bramsky, he says, when I'm frecht mir, pos vilch mit nemet, they can ask me what I want to take with to my cover. I will let Zetlach was me bashmutz in the gas. He said, if you could collect all the Pashkevil against me, which I have done for Kalal Yisrael, please bury those with me. The Buda Segal in Manchester, Rosh Hashiva, anybody heard of him? He was Mesak in the Luach to learn Chafetz Chaim two halachas a day. Luach from Rav Segal, Yedua. He said, he's asking when they bury him that they should take the luach, one luach, and bury it with him. And another Odom Gordon, which I remember the name, asked that the orion of the Kvura 
they should make from the standard you're sitting and learning Kol Yemei Chaim. So yes, of Chaim, the Eber Shtetach Menish Damonim. So what is all these friendly reminders? In the form of a Shas, or a Sefer, or a Tzedlach, or a Pashkevil, of Luach. So Rav Chaim said like this. The Eber Shtetach Menish Damonim. Oh, but lie there, lie there. We don't have to remind the Kaddish Baruch Hu. When somebody is sitting here and he hears Mishtoimim, and Rabbi Bramsky took 24 Sforim that he heard at Agans 11, and he's willing to come to Kisa HaKovet and say, Asher Misha Bola Kevet Amudu Machto Savoyishem. The Eibish Tedav Golnish. God did nothing. For us, to get a chizuk, to hear a story, to... It's going to make a spore. Somebody's going to say, I'm going to learn from its time. You know what? Because Rav Segal, the giant, the big tzaddik, he didn't think about taking with him anything but this luach. Apparently, it's something we should be the Kabul from. All those maizalach for Reb Chaim, I'm just saying, Reb Chaim was not a man of Moifzim. I brought over here a bunch of forms to speak about Moifzim, but I'm not going to say it. I think this is the biggest Moifzim this has to be. But the stories, the Hasmode, the Limud Atayre, and Abim Esayim just saying that I was in Reb Chaim's house one day when he had 39 and a half temperature, 103 and a half temperature. He went to sleep early, and usually he gets up in the middle of the night, he has a Seder, three hours before Shachis, he started learning all his choivis, what he called, all his obligations, his daily obligation not to be in the deficit. He started three hours before he said, he can chatzor us, he had his, he said, ah, pop and deal him. He had his whole seder. If somebody wants, I'm willing to give him, to share with him, Reb Chaim's daily chayvis, what he did on a daily basis. He had temperature, he went to sleep, and he didn't get up. He didn't get up at the time, he didn't get up. And then all of a sudden, he jumps out of bed. I was there lunchtime, I heard the whole island was tumbling in the miser. He gets up and he says, no, 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 no. Bring me the tail of Sadaim Shnell and I'm going to hold the ice. So, what happened? He said, The Hiki Cholom does a gay stab and hide. It's a very nice hammer. And the Rambam stayed high and all the last and the toy that had Yoy Moise. So, Yoy Moise, I didn't learn yet. I'm holding in the middle of Hyrus, bring me the more Hyrus. It's a person that breathes Tyre. This is the Chaim Kemo and the Kul Talmud. This is what the Kuliskarova even gives up for the Chazani, Shalok, Kemois, and Bechol Mokoi. And this is the one who can learn from Shas with a Chavrusa without even asking, What is your name? And the day of his death, he started writing the Sefer after he finished Motsay Purim, Kol Atoyle Kulo. Vai Lehai Shufle, the Bole Be'arim. 